speak less. Many people like to talk and want others to listen to them. They talk about themselves and want people to listen. Few people would like to listen when others talk. Only few of us we prefer other people to do the talking while we do the listening. Listening habit is one of the habits that are scarce in the whole world. Bundles of people are talkers. They want to talk about their achievements, their feelings, their burdens, families, jobs, etc. Although it may be hard to restrain yourself from talking, it is very good and even better to be a listener. Job found himself in a great dilemma and his friends came to visit and sympathize with him. But it may be surprising to hear that these friends of Job listened for no less than 168 hours. Then they sat on the ground on the seven days and seven nights. No one said a word to him. These people were excellent listeners. On several occasions, what you need might just be listening ears and not talking lips. King Solomon explained that, like one who takes away a garment on a cold day, or like vinegar poured on soda, is one who sings songs to a heavy heart. Many people can neither manage nor improve on silence, but go ahead to destroy silence with their destructive words. In some cases, silence is far better than the words of some people. If your words are not better than silence, do not say them. Gro Marx confessed that before I speak, I have something important to say. Many of the great people who have explored great sources are good thinkers and listeners. Great thinkers are great listeners. Dal Kanije encouraged, let the other person do a great deal of the talking. A lot of people are talkatives. Even a fool is thought wise if he keeps silent and discerning, if he holds his tongue. King Solomon concluded that wise people hold their mouth and people of understanding talk less. John Mason encouraged, always speak less than you know. When words are many, sin is not absent. When there is too much talk, sin is seldom inevitable. If you don't hold your tongue, you may have to eat your words. It's better to bite your tongue than to make biting remarks. Speaking without thinking is like shooting without taking aim. In quietness and confidence, you can absorb. You are in a state of receptivity. And so life's inner energies are renewed and restored. Reveal Siwe Hoods. In quietness and in confidence shall be your strength. James, one of the twelve disciples of Jesus, encouraged all to be good listeners. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak. Speak less to be a great thinker. Speak less to avoid sin. When your mouth is quiet, your mind will be eloquent. 
although the tongue is one of the most difficult parts of the body to tame, developing a listening habit will help you in a long way. We all stumble in many ways. If anyone is never at fault in what he says, he is a perfect man. If you want to improve on silence, listen to what Apostle Paul said. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, sound speech that cannot be condemned. If you want to explore resources, be a listener. Speak less than what you know. Don't destroy silence if you cannot improve on it. Speak good and positive words. More often than not, listen so you can learn. Be reserved in order to be prevailed. This is because in silence lies your strength, said King Solomon. Speak less. Thanks and God bless.